So I'm trying to generate new alien digits by applying the generative adversarial network on the MNIST dataset. So the architecture of my neural net was borrowed from the DCGAN example that comes with PyTorch, where the generator converts 100 random numbers around 0 to a 64 by 64 image, and discriminator makes a judgment expressed by one number. Last time, by limited training, I could make the networks keep learning through 1600 epochs, but the chasing game was going to an end with the discriminator's victory. I noticed that the original code mandates the generator maps the entire 100 dimensions to some believable image. Maybe it's more realistic to expect only fine-tuned specific values to be mapped to a believable image. That's why in my first experiment both the generator and discriminator were fixed and specific examples of the input vector which would lead to a believable image was sought. However, it turned out that the generator was indeed having a really difficult time. Also, the optimized images contained a lot of duplicates these optimized input vectors were scattered very well and they were not aligned along any axis. To summarize the generated images, I used hierarchical clustering. However, scikit-learn did not return full ordering, so I did the little dendrogram building myself. So after clustering, more than 2,000 duplicate removed images were obtained. Curiously, a majority of the samples do not look like written digits, and what's more, some of them look like alphabet or some Japanese letters. I wouldn't have thought that the digits, because of their simple shapes, could give rise to such diverse combinations. Thanks for watching, and have fun always!